Hello, my beautiful hair lounge community. Angelina, back in the hair lounge. Are you sick of ridiculously flat, sad hair? Well, stay tuned and I'm gonna show you a very easy product to create lots of volume and lift. We'll get right into the video. Let's be honest, we have all suffered from flat, sad looking hair. And if many of you are like I was, I would just get a teasing comb and wrap the crap out of my hair. So, you know, we all know how to do this, but did you know that it does damage your hair? Doesn't matter how careful you are, if you don't do it every single day, you are creating tangles in your hair and it does give you the lift, but it is super, super, damaging to your hair. Did you guys know that? Leave me a comment down below and tell me if you knew that teasing your hair creates breakage and damage. Because sometimes we don't know those types of things. But I will tell you, there is a product that you can use. I like to call it back comb in a bottle. That's not the name of it, but it's a really easy product that you can put in your hair to create a lot of lift or volume. If you're liking what you see so far, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button so I know you are enjoying this video. And now is a great time to subscribe if you haven't done so already. All right, let's get to the product. As always, I'll be sure to leave everything down in the description box below so it's super, super easy for you to find. And I'm gonna show you a couple different ones. They all do exactly the same thing, but it depends on your hair type. So the first one is a really cheap one. You can just get it Sally's. So their brand is Beyond the Zone, and this one is called Rock On. So it is a volumizing powder. All these are volumizing powders. Very, very similar to kind of texture spray, honestly, but it has a little bit more grit, and you do not wanna put these all over your hair like texture spray. It's only for the roots. So I'm gonna take the cap off so you can see. You can see it has all those little holes in it. So when you squeeze it, powder comes out of it. You can kind of see that powder coming out. So this is a cheaper one that you can get at Sally's. Then I also do love Big and Sexy Hair. This one is called Powder Play. And this one is for normal, heavier, kind of thicker, coarser hair. And it is exactly the same as the other one. It has the holes in the top and then you just squeeze and product kind of shoots out. Then for my fine haired ladies, there's one for you. It's very similar, same name, but it's called Powder Play Light. So I'm gonna show you that one right there, but it comes out a little bit differently. It has a nozzle on it and then when you squeeze it, as you can see, powder comes out of it. So this one is not as heavy. It's a little bit softer. It doesn't have as much grit to it. So depending on your hair type, there is something for you. Again, back combing, yes, it does the trick. It stays a little bit longer for like updos and things, but if you're wearing your hair down and you're one, especially like me, this is what I do. I run my hands through my hair way too often. And so then you kind of pull that back combing out. Hit that like button if that is you. I can't keep my hands out of my hair. So when I tease, it does not stay very long. One nice thing with this product, I'm gonna use this, the light one, that has the nozzle on it just to kind of show you. It's nice because you're able to put it exactly where you want it. Oh, let's get that back combing out. But you are able to lift your hair up, make sure you're spraying it the right way, get it right at that root. And it's kind of weird when you spray it, it feels cool and kind of wet, but it's not at all. It's all powder, so it just sits on your hair and you just rub it into your roots, just like that. Look at the difference. Right side to left side. And you saw I only did a couple squirts on it. And then throughout the day, if you feel like your hair is getting a little flat, you're not noticing that it has kind of the lift, you literally rub your hands in it and it gives it a lot more lift and volume. Can you see the difference, you guys? What a difference. So now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna show you with the one for thicker hair. You do it exactly the same way. You're gonna lift up your hair into 
the section. I will tell you, you don't want to just sprinkle it over your part. You can, but it is powder and it's white. So you will get kind of a residue look on your part if you just do it on your part line. So that's why I always suggest to lift your hair up, flip it over, and then put it to where it's underneath so you're not really going to see it. But as you saw, when you squeeze, that's how you get the product out. So you're going to tip it kind of upside down and you see it already kind of came out and then you can squeeze and then rub it in. You can flip this back over and then you just really rub the product into your scalp. Again, like I said, it does feel a little cool on your scalp. It's not wet at all. It's just that powder on there. And as you can see, you get a lot more volume. So depending on your hair type, depends on which one you're gonna be using on your hair. The nozzle of this one is really nice. If you have thick hair, you can still use it. You have a little bit more control with this one of where you're putting it. So now let's get the back, cause really that's the most important part. And we're gonna do just a little bit more on this side. You can tell the difference of the powders. Um, the one for light hair, not as much product comes out. So with the other one, with the squeeze bottle, you could see a good amount of product came out. So this one is a little bit lighter because fine hair can't handle as much powder. It'll start weighing it down. So this one's super good for people with fine hair. Okay, so like I said, you just rub that product in. And I will tell you, this product is super, super nice if you have dirty hair. Say your scalp gets super oily and normally you use dry shampoo. Well, you can replace your dry shampoo with this powder lifting spray or pore spout. So, cause like, as you can see, it's white. So it will, it's going to absorb all that oil, which normally oil does weigh your hair down. So you sprinkle this just kind of where you're feeling a little oily and you honestly just rub it into your scalp and it gives you that volume. What do you guys think? Isn't that crazy? The lift you get, as you can see this side, it doesn't have as much lift. I'm going to add just a little bit more in there. Voila. What do you guys think? Gives you a little bit of back comb look without damaging your hair. You're able to wash this stuff out super, super easily. It can replace your dry shampoo if you're wanting to replace your dry shampoo with a different product and it rinses out super, super easily. If any of you have ever tried to shampoo your hair after back combing, you know what I'm talking about. So I hope you guys enjoy these products. Hopefully it's going to be something that you're able to use on your own hair. If you've never heard about these volumizing powders, because honestly they are a lifesaver, especially if you are wanting tons of volume like this. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you've enjoyed what you see, as always, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave those down in the comment box below. I love engaging with you guys. So I always love when you leave me lots of comments and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.